Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. What's going on today? We got best bets for NBA on Tuesday, April 4th, 2023. We have NBA player prop spreads over unders here for you today. We're going to have three picks that I think are great value bets for this Tuesday NBA slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 7,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Price Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. Really is a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. You can put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money, and it really is a lot of fun to use. So I highly encourage you guys to check that out. Um, and give it a shot. Uh, like I said, use our code SFP. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now it's time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVP. So we had our first sign up uh, last week, Wilkie. Uh, if you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and description for that. Great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. It's just $3.99 per month. You get some custom emojis, a badge next to your name, early access to our picks, and shout outs on our videos. And like I said, it's just a great way to support the channel. But you guys just watching the video, sharing the video, liking the video, that's all I need. I appreciate all of you guys. I really do. It's kind of been a rocky start uh, with the results. Uh, results from... Um, Sunday, results from Sunday, yes, because we didn't have NBA yesterday, NBA was off yesterday, we went one and three, but I was actually really happy with the picks, I know that sounds weird, uh, at least the player props, I think we would have cashed all three, two of our player props got injured, so there really is a lot we could do about that, guys, Grayson Allen went down uh, with an ankle, he had seven points and rebounds, we needed over ten and a half, um, so I believe he would have gotten there. That was in you know, about midway through the third quarter. He had a great chance to get there. D'Angelo Russell had four assists at the half. Um, he needed two more assists to cash his line, over five and a half. He got injured at halftime. There's nothing you could do about that, guys. There really isn't. So I felt comfortable with that. The only thing I, I was thinking about is like, man, I should be really looking at unders more because then we could just avoid that and not even have to worry about that. We were able to cash Josh Kogi under 10 and a half points, cash that easily. And then we had the Grizzlies minus two and a half spread. They led by 20 in the first half and ended up losing by 20. So I don't know, guys. That game really ticked me off. But we went one and three. Like I said, we are going to bounce back today. We're going to get this three and oh. So let's get right into our picks here today. At number one, we are going with an under, guys. We're going with James Harden under 19 and a half points, minus 105 odds here on DraftKings, guys. Um, really love this one, guys. Harden is actually under in seven of his last 10 games. So we like to see that. He's actually never gone under, though, versus the Boston Celtics, at least here recently um, as a member of the 76ers. So that is that is obviously kind of weird. And uh, so this line, you know, you'd be like, that's kind of weird. Um, and the reason I think that is, like, 76ers really don't have a ton to play for here, guys. There are three games out of the two seed, and there are three games from falling out of the three seed into the four seed. So they ain't really playing for seeding at this point. Um, I know it's a rival here in the Celtics, but... It's hard to imagine James Harden getting heavy minutes here in a game that really doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot. Because uh, realistically, we know that, you know, the 76ers aren't going to overtake the Celtics, you know, with four games to go off of that two spot. At least it's not very likely anyway. So I don't think Harden's going to play big minutes. Honestly, Celtics defense and, you know, Celtics defense still is pretty solid. If you saw, you know, the last game that Harden went over, he had 21 points. He made nine free throws. You know, I like... I just, I don't, you know, consistently I don't see him going over. I think he does go under here today versus Boston. You know, not a lot to play for. If anything, the Celtics have more to play for because they could still compete for a one seed. They're two games behind the Bucs, uh, which is more realistic to catch them for the one seed. And they recently beat the Bucs as well. So, uh, very interesting there. And also, Robert Williams is listed out for the Celtics. The reason why I say that's, you know, significant if the 76ers were to have a good matchup today, I think it would be inside without Robert Williams being in. Um, so Embiid could go to work. I was initially looking at Embiid's under, but then I'm like, well, with Williams out, I think Harden, I, you know, I like the look here on Harden to go under. So love it there for our number one pick, guys. We're going James Harden under 19 and a half points here for the Philadelphia 76ers, minus 105 odds here on DraftKings. Okay, and at number two, same line of thinking here, guys. We're going with DeMontis Sabonis. Under 39 and a half PRAs here, minus, I can't even read my own rating, minus 109 odds here on Caesars. 
<laughs> uh, Sabonis so here, guys, under in four of his last ten games. So he's actually gone over in six of his last ten. But under in three of his last five. Now, two of those, he finished with 40. So right on the hook there as far as hitting the over. He's averaging 38.4 PRAs this season on the road. Now, technically, you'd say this is a decent matchup here with Jonas Valanciunas and the Pelicans. Pelicans allowing the ninth most points. 19th most rebounds, so that's about middle of the pack. In fact, that's probably better for us. And then the 10th most assist is center. So you could say it's a decent matchup for Sabonis. However, um, he has gone under uh, versus the Pelicans in three games with the Kings. He's gone under two of the three. Let me read his logs, though. 41, 26, and 36. So, you know, even when he hit the over, he just barely hit it here versus Sabonis. And right now, the Kings, same type of thing. Not a ton to play for, really just seeding. They could possibly move up to a two, but that's kind of a long shot. So, you know, him playing heavy minutes here, I just don't see it. You know, I see him playing, you know, maybe around 30 minutes. And if that's the case, I don't think he's going to go over. So, uh, again, that's another thing that I like here. Um, and honestly, I think the history there versus Jonas is pretty good for us, too. So, Love it there, guys, for our number two pick. We are going DeMontis Sabonis, under 39.5 PRAs here for the Sacramento Kings, minus 109 odds here on Caesars. Okay, and finally, at number three, we are going with Clint Capella, over 21.5 points and rebounds here for the Atlanta Hawks, minus 108 odds here on Caesars. Guys, this one, you know, by the numbers is really solid. He's actually gone over this mark in his last 14 games versus the Chicago Bulls. So he has really done well in this matchup here with Vucevic. Um, and, you know, the Hawks right now, everything to play for, right? Um, they're, they're right in the middle of the, the 7 to 10 range. You obviously want to get up to the 7. Very realistic that they could still uh, move up um, as well. So very important game for both of these teams. Uh, but Capella, like I said, has done very well in this matchup in the past. Um, his last five games versus the Bulls, just to give you an idea how easily he's cashing this, 28, 29, 23, 31, 33. That's an average of about 28 per, uh, which is about seven over this line. So we like to see that, guys. Um, I think here, you know, he's averaging 22 and a half points and rebounds, you know, per game on the road, which is, again, pretty solid. He's over in six out of his last 10 games overall and four out of his last five. Um, and the only, the only game he didn't go over was the game that was a blowout there in Brooklyn. So, you know, we got to hope this game is close, which there's no reason to think it won't be in a lot of ways. You know, uh, everything to play for here for the Atlanta Hawks, and they got everyone playing, you know, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, Clint Capella. Those guys are all playing. Uh, no DeAndre, DeAndre Hunter, though, which obviously is somewhat significant. But obviously, I see Capella going over here, guys. He's obviously done great in this matchup, and I think he goes over again with ease. And um, honestly, I love it, guys. I love it. 14 out of 14. Gotta love it. So, do love it there, guys, for our number three pick. We're going Clint Capella, over 21.5 points and rebounds here for the Atlanta Hawks. Minus 108 odds here on Caesars. Guys, uh, we're going to bounce back today. That's just the way it is. We changed it up a little bit today. I'm not going with spreads. I don't know what's going on with spreads right now, guys. Uh, you know, with the end of season stuff for the playoffs, I think we'll be able to lock in a little better for the playoffs. But right now, I wanted to focus on unders. Really excited to see how these work out for us. I think uh, we'll have some good success today, hopefully, and uh, get back in the win column. Uh, but that's what we need to do. You know, it's a process. Uh, every day is not always going to be going to be perfect. We gotta we gotta find our groove and we gotta make our money. Make sure you guys manage your unit size as well. I really want to get on a roll before I'm telling people, hey, go ham on this type of stuff. You know what I mean? So. Um, I really want us all to make money. I want us to cash out as a community. And I just want to say that I do appreciate all you guys. You guys, you guys support means everything to me. Um, and like I said, if you guys could just like the video and share the video, that helps me out a lot. All right. Until next time, we will catch you all next time and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.